as you work with your servers you need to keep in mind that um, their uh, main function is to allow other computers connect to your computers over the internet that's what servers are for um, so you need to be careful about the security of your computer one thing that I would advise is um, to turn your servers off whenever you're not working with them so whenever you're not developing scripts or working with your database um, the best thing you can do is to turn your servers off to stop them um, another thing that you may want to do is to disconnect from the internet while working with your servers uh, I know that that's not always possible because sometimes um, you may want to um, look up something on the Elm space or do a Google search on some question uh, that relates to what you're trying to do um, so um, it's not always possible to disconnect from the internet while working with your servers so what you should in general try to do is to minimize your exposure to the internet while uh, having your servers run as long as you're careful with that um, you should be okay um, of course uh, your computer will not be attacked immediately as you start your servers so if you don't if you don't leave your servers on while you're away from your computer while you're doing something else on your computer um, for the most part you should be okay although you're not avoiding um, the dangers completely now um, it's it's a good idea to have the SAM control panel running all the time so that you have a visual cue about whether your servers are running or not another important thing that you should do um, if you install the Apache and MySQL servers as services in Windows um, you should uh, tweak uh, uh, those services so they don't start automatically when Windows starts so for example my Apache and MySQL servers are off at this point if I restart Windows they would start the servers would start automatically as Windows restarts um, there is a way you can tweak that so that the services will be manual meaning they won't automatically start when you restart Windows but you would need to go and manually start them um, now I'll show you how you can uh, tweak that setting in uh, Windows 7 and Windows Vista you need to find the services application if you type services in the search box through the start button you should see this services application if you click this you'll have access to services that are running on your computer or uh, can potentially run maybe not at this time but can potentially run on your computer and you will see Apache here and MySQL services again if you installed these while you were installing XAMPP as services you will see them listed and you'll see that they they're automatic their startup type is automatic what you want to do is to make them manual here's how you do it double click on this MySQL service you'll see a choice for um, the startup type turn this to manual and click OK also Apache service turn this to manual and click OK you'll see that now they're listed as manual startup services here what you would need to do 
is to either start them through your SAM control panel once you restart Windows, or you can start them through this services application just by clicking this start the service. may take a while to start but eventually you'll see that it, it starts if it doesn't then there must be some sort of a problem which we would need to address but you see here that this service has started and it shows as running through your XAM control panel um, which you can stop through here Sometimes you'll see that um, SAM control panel is not able to start or stop your Apache or MySQL services. In cases like that, the services application would be a good uh, backup approach to start and stop your services. Again, I was able to stop the Apache server, uh, server service through the service application, although I couldn't through the SAM control panel application. So this should um, this should help you uh, a little bit about uh, the security of your computer because um, whenever you restart Windows, you won't need to go back and double check whether your servers are running or not. Although it's a good idea, if you forget to do that, they won't start automatically since now they're manual startup services.